Let me try to uh, help y'all out with this one. It's difficult, man. It's super difficult. It's kind of like trying to find a freak in a bed, but a lady in the streets. That's difficult. Very difficult. So, let's talk about this shit, man. Because, obviously, people just don't want to accept the truth, man. And and the truth is the truth, man. Plain and simple. Can, can a, can't a so-called dude that considers himself a nigga, acts like a nigga, and all this other shit, talks like one, all that. Can he be a good guy? Yeah, he could be. He could be. But the thing is, what people overlook is, even though you could call me that, I kind of consider myself no different than any other guy. The difference is, though, my morals, my values, how I used to think versus how I think now. The main difference between a man, the so-called, what, let's just say a, a good guy and the so-called nigga, which, whatever y'all want to call it. The main difference is how they think. That's the main difference. And still, yet and still, you have women who... They can't accept this. The good guy's not attractive enough for them. In most cases, you do have some good guys out there that that actually have uh, both the best of both worlds. They're good and they're attractive. I think I'm one of those guys. But this is rare. This is rare. And the reason why women are picking the wrong guys is because them guys are good at attraction, but they're not good guys. Why are they not good guys? Because they don't want to be. Yeah, you can see the good in them. So before the, the, the male police come and say, there's no difference, I'm a good guy, blah, man, ain't nobody trying to hear that. Yes, you're a good person, but you are not a good person when it comes to a woman. You're going to cheat, you're going to lie, you're going to do whatever you want. You could be a good guy, but you don't want to be. You don't want to be. And that's what women need to understand. He, you might see good in this motherfucker. That don't mean he's going to do it. It's, it's a choice. I'm going to say this loud and clear. It's a choice, 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 choice to be a good woman or man. That's it. It's a choice. So when it comes to the so-called bad bitches, I don't like calling women bitches, but that's what they call themselves. I wouldn't even deal in that pool of women. That don't mean that some of them can't be a good woman. Might be one of the best women I could ever meet in my life. But out of common sense, okay, most bad bitches do this and this and this. Nah, I can't do that. Let me just stick with the women that actually want to be women. But women don't do that. They still trying to change these motherfuckers, man. You can't change them. They going to do what they want to do. Don't matter how much good you see in the motherfucker. There's a different... If I had a daughter right now, I'd tell her, yeah, this guy might be a good guy. He might be a good person, sweetheart. But the way he's moving, the way he carries himself, the way he thinks, what he values is not good for you in a relationship. That's the problem. People don't get it. Just because a person is a so-called decent person. I know people right now will jump on Facebook and say, God, 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 wife, wife, wife. I want a relationship. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. And only sleep with women that has no intentions on committing. I see them all the time on Facebook. So just because a motherfucker is dressed up like a fucking sheep, it don't mean he's a not a wolf when it comes to fucking relationships. I don't know why people don't get this shit down pat, man. If you're not attracted to good guys, then you're just fucked. I don't know no other way. You might well just get ready and strap on your seatbelt because it's going to be a long ride. You're always going to get played. You're always going to get lied to because that's who they are. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. It's rare that you find a dude that kind of acts like a nigga and is a good guy. I think I'm one of those guys. I'm not saying I'm different than them. I came from the same shit they came from. The difference is I understand now, oh, that shit right there. That shit was put there to destroy us and make us not reach our full potential. Once I knew who the fuck I was, like, man, you're, you're, you're a king, dog. You got to strive to try to be a king. That nigga shit, you'll never reach it. Some people, they don't want to let that go. And you know why? Because a lot of times they know that, oh, if I do this, the women like it. The men respect me more. I don't give a fuck about man's respect. Uh, if a man respect me, he respect me. If he don't, fuck it. And I don't care about no, I'm not selling my soul to, uh, fucking uh, be with a uh, woman to act like a nigga. Here's a perfect example. I believe Tupac Tupac's a perfect example. I think Tupac would have loved the woman to death if he found the right one and you still consider him a nigga though, right? Like I said, it's very few that can pull this shit off but most people know they not. If they a nigga and they think they a nigga and they act like one and shit, you best believe they cheating. You best believe they gonna do what the fuck they wanna do. Not because they're not capable of being a good man. Let's get that shit straight. 
Nobody's saying no some a dude to consider himself. Let's just take a young guy that don't know no better. I'm not saying that he can't be a good guy. Of course he can. But does he want to be? That's the question. That's the question. Every man can be a good guy. Does he want to be? You can't make him. I can't make a woman be a good woman. Every last woman on this earth can be a good woman if she wants to be. But can you make them be one? That's the question. That's why I don't even deal with women who don't want to be. Oh, uh, a nigga ain't paying my bills. I can't fuck with him. I run shit. I'm a bad boy. Okay, you keep that shit over there. Deal with some other guy. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's a guy that's in the closet that actually likes fucking men that uh, deal with a woman who acts like a man, not me. You get what I'm saying? I, hey, I got love for you. I don't think you're a bad person. But as far as relationships, we can't fuck around like that. Because I already know you're not good for me when it comes to a relationship. It's no different than a, a, a fine-ass woman. Just because the woman is fine, it does not mean she's good for relationship material with me. So in other words, yes, I'm attracted to her. That don't mean that she's good for a, being a, a wife. And that's what women, do, they don't get it. Some men are attractive to you, right? But that don't mean that he's uh, 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 the type of guy you could have a relationship with. You not changing these motherfuckers, man. Stop trying to mold people. They are who they are. Ain't nothing you could do about it but pick one that is actually what you want. But people, they can't do that, man. They can't just pick somebody who's actually what they want. They try to mold people who they who they want to be who they want. People are who they are, man. You got to either accept it or just leave them alone. You got to learn how to accept people for who they are. That's who they are. If a woman cheats on me, that's who she is. I can't be like, nah, that didn't happen. She's a loyal woman. It don't matter what my feelings thought. Yeah, I thought she was loyal. But she's not, obviously, right? Just because a dude has money doesn't mean he's good for a relationship. I never even said that. Any guy can have money. But that's a good point. That's a very good point. I'm so glad I tapped into live. I needed to hear this. That's a very good point. Just because a dude has money does not mean he's good, uh, good for a relationship. Just because a guy got looks don't mean he's good. I can go on and on and on. And on. You know what I'm saying? Just like a woman. Just because a woman has money doesn't mean she's better than a woman that, that is actually broke. A woman that's actually broke might be better fit for a wife than a woman who has a lot of money. You just never know. But is money important in a relationship? You absolutely right. You don't have to have more. That don't mean you should pick the man with more money than the other. If you like that other one, he's a better fit. I don't mean that. But let's be honest. Bills got to be paid. Kids got to be fed. You can't. Nobody should even be looking for a relationship if you not on your feet right now. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? A real man be like, look, man, I ain't even, I'm not even straight right now. I, I, I don't deserve you right now. You know what I mean? We could be friends right now until I get on my feet. I don't deserve a woman right now. I don't, I don't got, I don't got what she deserves to be offered. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with a woman. Like I can't, I can't be with a man right now. I don't got everything that I, he needs. You know what I'm saying? People don't think like that though. So yeah, no, money don't make a man better. Never has, never will. Because choices, a man can have money and make horrible choices. He can still cheat. He can still lie. He can still uh, do whatever fuck he want. Money don't stop that. Money don't make your character. But at the same time, that don't mean that you should be with somebody who ain't got money. If a man ain't, I'm going to put it to you like this. If a man don't have money, how is he fit for a relationship if he can't even get his own shit straight? How am I going to come in a woman's life and make her life, add to her life and make her life better if I can't even figure out my own? No excuse. I don't care what any man says about other money. If a black man don't get treated right if he ain't got money and all that. We all know that. That's every fucking man, honestly. And, and honestly, it, it's fit. If I had a daughter, you I don't want my daughter dealing with no man that ain't got no money. The only way I would even consider this okay is if if her, they're like 15 or something. But I need to be seeing, what, how's this dude thinking? What's he trying to do? Is he playing football or something? What's he doing? Or is he just running around doing dumb shit like I used to do with other people? How we got caught up? We was victims. We didn't know no better. But now we do so we can pass this shit down if we ever have kids. You see what I'm saying? Money, looks, and all that sex and all that, that shit's important in a relationship, but it, but you can't just pick somebody off of it. Let me put it like that. Hell yeah, I want a woman that, that I'm attracted to. Hell yeah, it would be nice if a woman had some of her own money and all that other shit, but I can't just pick a woman based off of that. And I think a lot of times that's what people do. I'm attracted to this guy, so I'm going to pick him. I'm attracted to niggas, but I'm going to cry all fucking day about uh, there's no good man. You know why? Because a duck is a duck and a goose is a fucking goose. <laughs> it's rare you're going to find two in one. It's rare, man. I'm telling you. It's rare that you find a so-called nigga and, and a good dude at the same time. Yeah, they good not for relationship-wise. 
Yeah, as a person, oh yeah, all day long. Plenty of niggas that's good people. But as a relationship, I don't know. Because part of upholding that nigga image, that energy, it's part of being a player and shit. Plain and simple. We all been uh, basically groomed to this type of energy. You know what I'm saying? And I think everybody needs to snap up out of it. Everybody. Like I said, Tupac is considered a nigga, but look how he think. He move like a man. He don't think like a nigga. He just know who he is. Like, yeah, okay, this is, I'm a product of my environment, but I'm not, but I'm not going to let my environment determine the product that I'm going to be. Does that make sense? I'm no different than every other motherfucker that you see, but I'm not going to allow that type of uh, environment to determine who I am going to be. You see what I'm saying? I don't got to follow the lead because I understand that it's a path to destruction. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, it's, just, it's no different than a woman who looks good. Just because she look good and men are attracted to her doesn't mean she good for you. She could be stealing your money. She could do all type of shit. You see what I mean? But vice versa with the women, that's what they do. It's like a, a, a attractive guy, I'm going to pick him. But women, it's more than looks. I get it. It's how they talk and how they vibe and energy and all that bullshit. That still don't mean nothing. That still don't mean that that person's right for you. You still got to look at how they are, who they are, how they move and all that. You can't just go by attraction. Attraction ain't enough. Attraction ain't going to be enough to keep you from getting your fucking heart broke or, or you know, a motherfucker cheating. Motherfuckers are good. That's why some people saw it like, damn, why did I cheat on that girl? Because they, they like, let's say Beyonce. Oh, what's wrong with her? She got cheated on, right? Did Beyonce get cheated on? Yes or no? What's wrong with her? I don't see nothing wrong with her. I mean, I can't see. I don't know her personally. But look, she got cheated on, right? <laughs> Come on, man. If she ain't safe, how the fuck anybody else safe? Nobody's safe. Nobody. The only way is if you... The person has to choose, man. The person you with has to choose, I'm going to be faithful to my girlfriend. If they don't want to be, they not going to be. Plain and simple. What question? What question? I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. If you attracted to certain, if you attracted to men who don't want to really uh, commit to a woman, you're fucked. <laughs> and there's that don't want to, yeah, they don't want to commit to a woman. You are fucked. No way around it. If you are a guy that's attracted to bad bitches that want to run shit and be player and all this shit, and I don't gotta listen to no man at all. I run shit. Fuck you. Everything revolves around me. You're fucked. No Kevin Garnett. Or anybody else is safe. Nobody's immune to these motherfuckers. Nobody's safe. I don't care how much money you got, how good a sex you got, how good you look. Nobody's safe. When a guy meets an attractive female, once he gets hurt, he wants her stop dressing up, look pretty. Mm. Like they can't be proud of. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't give a fuck. That sounds like a person that's insecure. Well, I don't know. Because I think the reason why some men do this is because, I ain't going to say they're insecure. It could be. But I think most men feel like, why are you trying to show everybody else if you me? You know, it's no different than Stephen Curry's wife. Why do you want another man's attention if you like me? So some men take it that way. Some men take it as, you're my girlfriend. Why are you trying to show everybody else? No, nah, I got what you asked. I got it. But that's probably why. You know what I mean? Me personally, I don't give a fuck. A woman needs to be tested. Your loyalty to me needs to be tested. Go ahead, dress what you want. Now, I don't agree. Like, a woman ain't going to be showing her ass and, and nah, fuck all that. That's some bullshit. If you with me, why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? But as a man, I would definitely start questioning that if a woman is dressing and revealing herself a certain way. As men, we, we question this because we like, you're supposed to be mine. What you want to show everybody else for? You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Just like a man, what if he got a girlfriend, what you got a picture of your shirt off and shit for? Who are you trying to attract? See what I'm saying? Why you want somebody else's attention? That's all. So, I mean, you could say it's right or you could say it's wrong. Personally, I'm, I'm not going to try to uh, handcuff a woman. Either she's with me or she's not. She's going to do shit behind my back anyway if she wants to. So, really, is there? what's the point of wasting all this energy? Don't wear it is. Don't go here. Don't go there. I ain't nobody got time for that shit, man. Straight up. I don't know, man. I, hey, man, I'm about to leave this shit alone, though. I'm about to get up out of here. Man, I hope my team win tonight. That's all I can say.
or you know, y'all, y'all might see me jumping off a building or something tonight. Nah, I'm playing. I ain't gonna do that shit, man. <laughs> but they gotta win, bro. They got to win. <laughs> I can't take it if they lose, man. Even if it's rigged, I don't give a fuck. I still want them to win, plain and simple. But I'm I'm done talking, man. It's a level of respect, but females don't understand that. Ah, so you're saying why do women do it? Yeah, I'm not even going to. Because if I start saying that, then then people are going to start saying that I'm bashing women and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It goes either way. If you're a man with a woman, you shouldn't be run, having your fucking shirt off. Playing, I mean, if you at a swimming pool or something, I guess fuck it. But like literally take a picture with your shirt off and you got a girlfriend at home. That's, that speaks volume to me. Like, why would a man do that? Honestly, I mean, I'm just saying you got you obviously seeking attention from other people. Same thing with women. But on a woman, when it's a woman, it's a little different. Some women just want to dress up and look, um, look and feel beautiful. So I kind of give them a pass. It just has to be classy. It can't be like like yo, your fucking skirt. You can see your fucking ass and shit. I mean, come on, man. That That's a violation. You know what I mean? Straight up, man. I mean, I sometimes I get dressed up just for me, just because I want to feel, I want to feel like I look good. You know what I'm saying? You, you look, you feel like you look. When you look good, you feel like you look good. You feel the same way. So I understand why women do it. I do it. I can't wait till it's nice out. I'm gonna be dressing up, but for me, I'm not gonna just do it for somebody. I'm doing it for me. I want to feel good. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Man, you have a great day, too. We almost there, man. We only got like eight weeks left, man. If that, man. Look, the sun out right now. We almost there. It's almost time, man. I'm so happy, man. I'm ready. But uh, y'all have a good day, man. And, um, man, understand that a fucking duck is a duck, man. Hey, if you are a person that is attracted to bad guys, maybe you just need to fall back for a little bit so you'll become a different person over time. And then... Trust me, man, once you start becoming a better woman or a better man, you're not going to be attracted to a certain shit no more. If you if you don't believe me, just look at some of some people. They still attracted to the same shit that they was. But a lot of people, they're not because they've grown as a person. Once you grow as a person, you're not attracted to the same type of shit like the younger me. Oh, you got, oh, she looks good and she's got a nice body, man. Or or she looks good and her sex is good. I'm I'm, I'm all in. Hey, I, I might marry this girl. She cooks and everything. Nah, I don't work that. That's good. I'm not saying that I, I require a whole bunch of bullshit for a woman to satisfy me, but I'm just saying that I understand that there's more to it. What if I have a kid by the woman? You know, her looks ain't going to uh, help raise the kid and shit like that. And sometimes when women have kids by men, they didn't look at all these traits when it came to men. And that's why a lot of times they're the, they're taking care of their kid by themselves and the man's nowhere to be found. You got some women who clearly knew that the man did not take care of kids before her and she somehow thought that she was going to change this motherfucker and look he done the same thing to her or somebody cheats on somebody to get with you and you think they're not going to do it to you it's just shit like that like you can't try to uh, change people or think there's something that they're not they are who they are plain and simple people people are who they are there's nothing you could do about it